I've caught up with all my videos. Hey y'all, welcome to TNT Homesteading. This is Terry. Uh, today is July 22nd and it is unseasonably cool. It's like noon and it's 81 degrees here in eastern Oklahoma and I am not complaining one little bit about that. Uh, we've had several days in the hundreds and I'm happy that it's not. Uh, went to the hardware store this morning after uh, a small little hike and uh, picked up some stuff for our next project. I am going to be working on the uh, lean-to or whatever you want to call it uh, behind the shed so that we can um, store stuff underneath that that we don't necessarily need it completely inside of the building. As you can see um, I had a friend and he helped me out some. He's dug five holes so far Though, that one I think still needs to go a little bit further down. Um, but, we've got five done. I do need to make a few adjustments uh, for what I was wanting. Um, dig a few more holes and then put in some braces. I do have enough metal to do the roof. We are planning to take the old roof off and re-roof the entire thing as one big... Uh, go Mainly because the other one continues to leak so I'm just going to take the roof off and re-roof it That is not currently on today's schedule unless I am extremely uh, Lucky in the digging process, which I don't Suspect I will be just looking at the ground. There'll be lots of tree roots. I'm going to end up hitting so um the main thing I'm after today is digging the holes and getting those 4x4s in. Anything past that is gravy. Well, I'm glad it's only in the 80s because here in the sun it's really, really hot. So, I did adjust this side down because earlier it was not the way it needed to be. I've got the other side done-ish. It may be too far down. I'll have to look at them here in a little bit they're just held together at the moment with some screws uh, next up i need to get a couple more four by fours dug here in the front and then i can work uh, on the next step well i'm getting closer i've got the outside done i obviously need to trim the tops of the four by fours um, I was waiting to do that until I made sure I had it all lined up correctly. Um, so now I just have to work on uh, the supports between uh, the outside frames. Uh, the way the other building works is they had supports running this direction off of the uh, 4x4s and then from uh, left to right up on end like these going across those supports and I may be looking at doing something pretty similar to that at, the, at this moment anyway. All right I've got two pieces up. The rest of it's uh, incoming I guess but uh, it'll work. It'll allow us to park the lawn equipment in here. Sorry. It's not normal July in Oklahoma, but I'm still hot. Um, we do want to get a log splitter and we want to get a chipper. At least a log splitter. We would like a chipper. Um, but we didn't want to get, a, get one until we had a place to sort of keep it out of the weather. So this will allow us to do that as well. We'll also be able to put the generator under here. And so it can even run while it's raining if necessary. If we get into a long situation where there's lots of clouds and we're not keeping up with our usage. Uh, for our solar. So anyway, um, at the moment it's going great. I just need to continue putting the uh, uh, steel, tin, corrugated metal. I don't know what you call it, but uh, I need to keep doing that. Um, 
to really finish this project, I need to take the take the top off of the other one. I may have enough to do it all, but I don't know if I will or not. So um, we'll see how much I use going across here. See how much I've got when I'm done. But to do any more, I got to take the whole roof off. Uh, we got a few days without rain, but I'm literally starting uh, on this project, or at least that part of the project. So I'm going to finish this up and we can get some equipment underneath here. I'm glad it's cooler than normal because it's hot, but I'm done. There we go. Uh, it took nine pieces to go across. I really only needed like four or six inches at the very end, so I had to overlap them more than I had been. Um, now, obviously, this project's not done, but at least those two will be able to stay mostly out of any rain that comes this way. Uh, next up, well, I have tools to pick up. But I need to get the chainsaw after that stump so I can bring the riding mower in here. I do still have two other stumps underneath here that will eventually need to come out. But I don't know if that'll happen today or not. My wife said that she was able to walk underneath there without ducking. I told her I couldn't. And then a little bit later I yelled, one, as I smacked my head really good. Um, but it's not made for that. It's made to keep tools out of the weather, or mostly out of the weather anyway. So, uh, that's what it's for. And it looks like it's going to do that. So, at another date, once I go and get more tin, I know we'll need more now. I don't know how much I've got, but I bought 20 pieces and I used 9. And if it took 9, I need probably... 18 more total I don't remember well I used nine so I've got 11 and I've got a couple right there um, but I don't have 18 and I don't want to start the next part until I have all the metal that's needed to finish it all in a single day or at most two um, but I'm pretty happy about this anyway I need to finish this thing up so we can have dinner my wife's starting a fire I'm guessing she's cooking over the fire. Yep. Grilled chicken and taters and uh, pasta salad, I think, is what's on tap for dinner tonight. And taters and chicken over the open fire. Never wrong with that. Uh, so another thing, though, I wanted to let y'all know. Uh, I've caught up with all my videos. Uh, if you follow me, you know I've been doing two videos a week for quite some time, and I've been way behind. Well, s tomorrow's video, Sunday's video, uh, was from a couple weeks ago, and then you'll sh see this one either Wednesday or Sunday. Um, you'll know. I don't yet. Um, I like to do every week. I like to do videos once a week, and I'd like to do two a week, but I don't know. Uh, with work and other projects if I'll be able to uh, keep up with two a week so I may go to one a week for a while so you may see two a week you may see one a week it may alternate but uh, uh, I'm pretty excited about that I would also if you're not subscribed subscribe because I may do some shorts I've done a few but because I've been so far behind I haven't messed with doing any shorts so all right I think I'm done for the day there we go Mower's in, push mower's in, generator's in, the high wheel trimmer's in. Uh, we're doing good. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm excited. I'm hot, I'm tired. Uh, digging some of these holes was a beat down. Partially because of the roots of that tree right there. And then this pole I got super, super um, lucky with because I don't know if you can see it. Right here there's a slight indention. But that's where the power from my solar panels, my wires from my solar panels go 
is right there. So when I dug that hole, I was pretty close to those. They are in a pipe, but still, sort of scary after the fact anyway. Anyway, I've got more to do, but like I said, I need to go to the store and get a few more pieces of tin. I gotta measure it all and make sure. I need less than nine. Uh, six or seven, I think. And I gotta make sure that the eight foot is enough and I don't need 10 foot. But anyway, I'm done. I'm going to cool down, sit down, cool down. Uh, have some more to drink and uh, call it an evening. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.